Hey Spirit Scholars, welcome to another edition of PhD in Me TV, pursuing a higher degree in me. Before I get into this, I want to remind you to subscribe to this channel, rate and comment. Um, and now that I've done that, I want to begin by just letting you know that the topic of this um, edition is a little somber for me, okay? And I actually hope that it's a little somber for you. Um, doing some work on the computer earlier today and uh, came across an article that has just uh, waited on my soul all day long. Uh, apparently on this past Monday, today is Wednesday, but on this past Monday, uh, they found the actual shooter of little nine-year-old Tyshawn Lee of Chicago. Um, and I'm not going to mention his name. Uh, thankfully, uh, actually, it just came to me just now. I was going to say, thankfully, I don't even remember it. But um, I'm not going to mention his name because he's not worthy to be mentioned in the same sentence as Ty Sean in regard to um, his actions. Uh, his actions don't make him worthy to be mentioned in the same sentence as Ty Sean. But um, I do recognize his humanity, and I'm going to talk about that just in a little bit. But um, they found this 22 year old black male, and Ty Sean was a little black boy so-called black um, and um, I say so-called black because trying to get out of the habit of using racial terminology but he was definitely like me cultured uh, in the black culture but that being said um, they found this person and it was discovered um, and he was found because he had already been bragging about the killing in jail and he was in jail on an unrelated gun charge and he was actually bragging about the killing to an inmate and the inmate um, agreed to a wiretap. But anyway, oh, I don't know if he agreed, but somehow or another he ended up with a wiretap. But um, they have it recorded that he um, intended to kill Tyshawn and that he actually, um, he had shot, if you know the story at all, he shot him multiple times in the head um, in an alley. But they say he actually intended on killing him by, um, and actually he intended on torturing him at first uh, by cutting off his fingers and his ears, um, but he ended up not doing that and shooting him multiple times in the head and then joking and laughing about it while he was talking about it. He was 22, Tyshawn was nine. Um, you know, already the horror of such a story is just so painful. Um, there are also two other accomplices, but this guy is the one who they said pulled the trigger. And he murdered someone several weeks prior to Tyshawn, and this person definitely had problems. But here's the thing. Um, it's, it's beyond that he had problems. One of the key things that I want to highlight in this video is mental health. I've been saying for many years, and people who know me can attest to this, mental health is a serious problem in general. Um, but specifically in our country that is not being addressed. Once upon a time, there were m numerous mental hospitals in the US and that number has dwindled down to literally almost non-existent. In fact, that is the case in some states. Um, that has got to change. We have got to um, really be advocates for mental health um, being addressed in our community. Uh, it's just not enough to say this person was a savage, although I would not discount that word. But what occurred is beyond reason. It's beyond a normal mind. It's, it's past that. And as a spiritual life coach, obviously, the spirit of this person 
is beyond shattered. But whether it was the spirit affecting the mind or the mind affecting the spirit, we cannot, you know, toss aside the notion of mental health. This person shouldn't even be talked about in the newspapers and on TV as if he is normal because he is not normal and his mind functioning is not normal. He had killed a 19 year old uh, pa passenger in a car just weeks before he killed Tyshawn and he bragged about that as well and he said the reason he did it was because she screamed when he shot into the car. We, they should not be talking about this person in, um, in, 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 in terms of anything nearly normal. You know, this is, this is something that is literally horrific and really needs to be dealt with past prison, even though that's almost too light of a consequent for this person. But it needs to be dealt with on a much larger scale. It needs to be dealt with on a basic note from the issue of mental health. And there are so many people in our community who need this address. As people, uh, the descendants of slaves in this nation, our people, our culture of people um, have been just dismissed and ignored and have even dismissed themselves and ignored themselves when it comes to mental health issues. But that has got to stop. It's not just that crimes are being committed or whatever else label is being put in, put on our people. It's that mental health issues in many cases need to be addressed. And it's serious because if that is the case and when that is addressed, lots of these things can be um, helped before they reach such a tragic, tragic height. So, you know, if you are struggling with mental health, I encourage you not to be ashamed. I will um, put some uh, information on this screen and you with some resources to get yourself some mental health, health, help, some mental health help. Please don't be ashamed. Please, please get the help you need. If you see your daughter or son struggling, you know, don't be ashamed to get your child some help. That is love. That is love. Okay? It's not enough to say they act bad or, you know, they don't never listen. If they don't never listen, that's a problem. <laughs> you know, seriously, that is a problem. So please, my people, please, if this applies to you, please, I will um, link some information and some resources in regard to mental health, but let's be, let's take this seriously. Don't be ashamed and love yourself and pursue a higher degree by getting the help you need, even if that means mental health help. Okay. I'm coming at you with the joy that gives me strength. Abundant love, beloveds.